Sanganangudi has worked uh, above all with um, pantyhose, filled with sand or other materials, making a form of bodily based sculpture that has a kind of dance like component to it. The fact that she could make work with these very everyday means that had no history within sculpture. This piece is a sand installation. Is something that means a lot to younger artists. That you don't have to have massive resources. You don't have to be working with expensive materials. You can take the everyday and use it to throw light on issues around how we as people inhabit space. They still have an incredible vividness. It's really performative sculpture. If I had my druthers, I would make this less wide. And so more. I think she remains a touch paper for younger artists. So her historical um, trajectory is extraordinary, but still she continues to make work that has everything to do with the body and bodily movement, but doesn't necessarily depict the body in a straightforward, figurative way.